Hey guys, it's your boy, Peter John. Welcome to the Scary Logos Logo History, a video which will show you the history of logos from various scary logos. I hope you like it. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about stretch films. 1985 to 1991, here we have the logo of the first stretch film's name, John R. Dilworth. There are the words A, John, R, Dilworth and film in blue text. 1991 to 1994, they changed its name to Stretch Films. There is a smile and above it, there is the stretch in purple text and below the smile, there is the word Films also in purple text. Here is a variant. 1994 to 1995, they changed its name to John R. Dilworth again. There are the words A, John, R, Dilworth and Hallucination all in white text. 1994 to 1998, there is a mouth with teeth, and inside each teeth, there is a letter of the word stretch and films in black text. Here is a variant. 1998 to 2002 and 2005 to the present, there is now the word ink in black text under the mouth. Here are two variants and a bumper. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna talk about Class Geek Supo. 1989 to 1999 and 2001 to 2002, there are six rectangles, and inside each one of them, there is a letter of the word Klasky in black text and in different fonts, except the letter Y is in purple text, and under these squares, there are another five square rectangles, and inside each one of them, there is a letter of the word Xupo in white text, and all with the same font, and on the right of these rectangles, there is the word ink in black text. Here is a bumper. nineteen ninety one to two thousand eight and twenty twelve to twenty twelve the logo is more detailed and the font of the word ink has changed here is a bumper <laughs> Two thousand three to two thousand three, two thousand eight to two thousand eight, and twenty sixteen to twenty sixteen. The word ink has been removed. All the fonts have changed. The letter Y is now in black text, and some letter are now out of the rectangle. Here is a bumper. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna talk about Jidal. 1987 to the present, there is a scary face, and under it there is the word D in yellow text. Here is a old bumper. And a new bumper. I'm going to talk about Airy Vision films. 1987 to 1987, there are the words Airy Vision and Film Wall in black text. Also, on the top left of the logo there is the word in black text. Here is a variant and an intro. I'm gonna talk about Screen Gems Pictures. It is an American film production and distribution studio that is a division of Sony Pictures Motion Picture Group, a subsidiary of Japanese multinational conglomerate, Sony. 1999 to the present, there are two red shapes, and between them there is a red circle representing a letter S, and under these shapes, there are the words screen and gems in red text. Here is the print version, the icon and the print version of the icon. 2000 to 2014, now under the words screen and gems there are the words of Sony Pictures Entertainment and Company in red text. Here is the print version and an intro. twenty fourteen to the present, the words on the bottom were replaced to the words of Sony and Company in red text. Here is the print version and an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Cossiner. It was a French production and distribution company. 1938 to 1952, there are the words distribute and par in white text, and under them there is a seal, and behind it there is a white lightning, and under the seal, there is the word Cossiner in black text on a white outline. Here is an intro.
1952 to 1957, there are two black shapes, and between them there is a seal, and under it, there is the word Cossoner in black text, and under it there is a black banner, and inside it, there are the words Comptoir Cinematographique du and Nord in white text, and under the banner, there is the word Presente in black text. Here is an intro. 1957 to 1960, there is the word Cossoner in white text on a scary background. Here is an intro. 1960. I'm gonna talk about Yubu Productions. It was an independent production company founded in 1982 by television producer Gary David Goldberg. 1982 to 2002, there are the words Yubu and Productions in black text. Here is an intro. Sit Ubu, sit. Good dog. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Williams Street Productions. It is an American animation and live action television production studio owned by the Global Kids, Young Adults and Classics division of Warner Bros. Entertainment, a unit of AT&T's WarnerMedia. 1995 to 1999, here we have the logo of the first Williams Street Productions name, Ghost Planet Industries. There is a building, and under it there are the words Ghost Planet and Industries in gray text. Here is an intro. nineteen ninety nine to the present they changed its name to williams street productions the words ghost planet industries have been replaced to the words williams street and productions in black text here is the byline in an intro okay now i'm gonna talk about air programs international it is a television company owned by hanna barbera 1966 to 1972, there is the word Oppie in purple text, and on the right of it there is a black dot, and serting it there are three black shapes. Here is an intro. Yeah. 2011 to 2015, there is the word Epic in red text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about VPRO. It is a Dutch public broadcaster, which forms a part of the Dutch public broadcasting system. 1951 to 1966, there are a bunch of black rings, and on them there are two black rectangles, and under them there is a black line, and on the left of the line there is the word bro in black text. 1966 to 1971, there is the word bro in white text. 1971 to 1981, the font has changed, and coming out from the letters V and P there are two white shapes. Here is a bumper. 1981 to 2010, there is a black shape, and on it there is the word bro in white text. Here is a bumper. Ten to the present, there is the word bro in black text on a blue outline. Here is a bumper. I'm going to talk about Viacom CBS. It is an American multinational media conglomerate based in New York City. 1971 to 1976, here we have the logo of the first Viacom CBS's name, Viacom. There is the word Viacom in black text. Here is an intro. 1976 to 1989, there is a stylized black letter V, and under it, there is the word Viacom in black text. Here is the icon, the word mark, the blue version and an intro. 1990 to 2005, there is the word Viacom in black text. Here is the blue version, the purple and red version and an intro. Viacom. 
2005 to 2019, the font has changed, and the text is now in light blue text. Here is the orange version, the green version and an intro. Viacom. 2019 to the present, they finally changed its name to Viacom CBS. There is the word Viacom CBS in dark blue and light blue text. Here is the print version and an intro. Okay guys, this is it for today. I hope you liked the video. Stay tuned for the next episode which is gonna be uploaded on Thursday. I am Peter John and this was Scary Logos Logo History, bye.